Hi everybody, I'm Bill Holland from GearWire.com. Welcome back, and I'm here in the studio in Chicago with Emulsion. How's it going, man? Good, good. We're going to talk about the VST synth plugin Vanguard. Now, you were saying this is mostly used in cheese trance these days for the most part. That's right. I think it's got a bunch of detuning on it with kind of the idea that you can do giant trance leads, but um, like any soft synth, you can repurpose it for whatever genre you you want. I certainly use it in many different ways. Great. Well, let's take a look at that plugin right now. Perfect. So, I've got a melody patch up here that I've put together in Vanguard, and it uses some of what this synth has to offer. Uh, you know, I, I like to stick to simpler sounds and get more complicated in the treatments, uh, but you can definitely take this pretty far. Uh, this fat knob, uh, which is pretty dangerous when used in excess, can give you that sort of massive echoey, detuned trance sound, uh, especially when you bring up the number of voices, and pretty soon you can be talking about something pretty out of control. But it still has a pretty distinctive character, and I wouldn't say that it uh, competes with the kind of tone you might get out of a virus or something. It's a little, it's a little snappier, and uh, definitely you combine that with uh, the overall signal path of Vanguard, which has you having uh, three LFOs, each uh, corresponding to one of the three oscillators. And uh, this is a really cool idea because when the speed is zero, then when you are changing to tune uh, pulse width, uh, well, the cutoff all is routed to the filter. What what you're changing? You're changing the uh, uh, the placement of the sound. You know the the tune isn't going to change if you have your speed down to zero, and you can uh, you can get it up to uh, audio level. You can hear that uh, kind of graininess that comes from the uh, turning it up to eleven there with the speed um, and. Another aspect of Vanguard that, that can be good, uh, again, I would probably say in moderation, is uh, these built-in effects. You throw on this trance gate, and it's imposing this gated sequence that you can, uh, that you can alter as you like. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is it doesn't necessarily need to sync in stereo, uh, so you can get some cool kind of ping-pongy stuff with it going back and forth between the speakers. That could be nice. Um, I would say, other than that, uh, some of the nice features are uh, the glide is is kind of cool because you can set it, you can set a length on that. This might not be a patch to show that off, though. I think that the filter types are kind of neat because you can get into some really uh, kind of esoteric stuff. You know, I don't even know what band plus SHP is. Uh, there definitely is kind of a band pass tone there. Uh, and, you know, you start throwing in their more digital oscillators, uh, these saw wave variations, and uh, you can get into some pretty, pretty interesting place. Uh, you know, that you can just hear a little bit of a different tone in these different oscillators. Uh, yeah, it's great stuff. Well, thanks, Nate. I appreciate that. It looks like uh, Vanguard's pretty much useful for anything I could possibly be doing, and it doesn't have to be limited to trance music. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you for uh, joining me today at GearWire.com, and we will be back with more from Emulsion in Chicago.